hello friends and welcome. Today is a kind of a busy day for me. I'm running around Orlando, just running errands. Unfortunately, over the weekend, a very nice couple hit my car. Not very hard, but it caused some damage. So I've got to get some estimates to get the, the work done on this. And in the meantime, I'm doing some other things. One of which is getting a massage today. You know, the other day I mentioned having that mobile mechanic come out and I spent that $35, $30, bucks, whatever it was. And that, that could have bought me a massage. Well, it just stayed in my mind and I decided, heck it, I'm gonna go get a massage. So that's what I'm doing. I feel very relaxed. That was great. Friends, it is a absolutely beautiful day here in Central Florida. Right now I'm dropping off a couple kegs back at Total Wine. Built a kegerator a while back. Actually made a video about that, but I never got around to really finishing it up. Instructional videos are not that easy to put together. I'll tell you that. I'll show you that kegerator. I gotta finish up a little project on it, adding a couple taps. That'll be for another day. never been into a Total Wine or heard of a Total Wine before, it is a huge liquor store. They got all kinds of stuff here, like everything you've ever heard of, but they have a lot of craft beer. So whenever I drop in, I like to check out the craft beer aisle. It's pretty incredible. They have all the beers. A lot of times I'll just pick a beer by the can because there's some really cool artwork on a lot of these cans. I like this stuff. I didn't get a cart on purpose because I that way I can regulate myself and only walk out of here with two beers instead of a cart full of these great craft beers. It's pretty cool though, they have it organized by the style of beer, so you can just pick singles of whatever you want. That was a craft beer aisle we were on. This is the regular beer aisle and seltzers. Okay, onward. Next stop is the orange store. I knew I needed to come here, but I cannot remember why I had to come to Home Depot today. Hmm. I remembered. Paint. I picked up some primer and some different type of paint than what I was about to use on the solar panel project. A viewer actually left a suggestion that I look for a self-etching primer for that bare aluminum. I didn't know that that's what you should use on it. But in my search for self-etching primer, it doesn't exist in the blue store or the orange store, so I'm going to be stuck with this. I got the best primer that I could find and I'm gonna recoat everything, two coats of primer, just to be on the safe side, and then we're gonna go ahead and use the gloss professional enamel for the top coat. Well, I ask a nice lady that works here to help me remember what it was that I'm forgetting. <laughs> she had no idea, me either. So I'm gonna walk around the tool aisle here just a little bit, just to jog my memory. I love the tool aisle. Well, she couldn't remember, I couldn't remember, so I just walked out of here with two cans of spray paint. Gotta get some stuff for both of the vehicles. Some people say not to use this engine degreaser, but hey, every time I open up the hood, I like to look at a clean motor, you know? So, that's what I do. Well, it's just about lunchtime. So I stopped up here at Nessus. If you haven't been to Ocoee, Florida, one of the greatest little hidden treasures is Nessus. It's awesome. Nessa makes the best macaroni and cheese in the world. It is really good. This place is awesome. It's a serious instance where I wish there was such a thing as smell-o-vision, because it is like overwhelmingly barbecue 
in here. This is some of the best food in Central Florida, I promise. I'm gonna go into my favorite thrift store today, out of the closet, turn in a couple things that I have and shop for some new clothes. I love this store because it's got really high quality clothes in it and some other interesting things, but everything in here is pretty nice. We have a pretty good media section here. Now, if you want to see some real thrifting and like somebody who knows a lot about, especially the media sections in these thrift stores and finding the cool things, go to my friend's channel, Cinema Sickness. You got to go check out what David does over there. I'll put a link to his channel below in the description. But it's a good time going into a thrift store with, with that guy. He's, he's fun. Something I like to look for in thrift stores is travel books. So you might find some older, outdated books here, sure, but there could be some really good finds in here. And even some of the older books will give you information on things that still exist and historical locations especially. So they're good to look for. I realized I only have about six shirts, so I've got to find a good one. Ooh, pineapples. Well, I have found a couple of things here. I found like some photo paper and stationery. I also found a Rusted Root album. It's only a dollar. And here at Converse All-Stars. Might be a little bit small, but I'll take my chance for $4. Out of the closet is a great store. I made a couple friends in there. I got a very nice compliment too by someone. It's pretty nice. There's this cool beer bar called Red Light Red Light. And I've heard about it, and they also brew beer. They're a brewery, and I, I kind of forgot that, but it turns out they have some really good beers on this menu, and I'm gonna try a couple of them out. She's pouring me a cask brown. Cask is room temperature, and it's a hand pump, traditional way of serving beer. I haven't tasted it yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be good. Pretty similar haircut, huh? Red Light Red Light is a really cool bar and brewery. Rachel, the bartender, is so nice. She let me charge my phone on her charging cord. It's always very kind. last stop then it's back to home unfortunately they do not carry any of the pieces that I need I remembered what I needed from Home Depot today and that's why I came in here to the blue store unsuccessfully that's okay it's coming together nicely well friends I have made it back to the homestead I appreciate you joining me today as I drove all over this city running some very important errands. This weekend, I'm going to be at the 25th annual Treasure Island Beach Kite Festival and Sport Kite Competition. I'll be making videos for my other channel, World's Greatest Kiting, all through the weekend. I'll put a link for that channel right up above. If you've never been to a kite festival, well, join me and a bunch of my friends. It's going to be a really good time. I'll still be posting videos here on Dre's World, but... Most of my video content is gonna be on World's Greatest Kiting this weekend. I hope you join me there. Friends, if you like what you're seeing here, hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment below, and I will see you in the next video.